friends, a couple weeks ago, I had a spring craft day here at the house. I had about a half a dozen friends over and we had a great time and we made this little rabbit spring sign. And I've had several requests, people asking me if I could show how we did it. And it is so simple and very inexpensive to where you could make yourself one and make uh, two or three for friends because by the time you buy the supplies, you know, you've almost got enough to make more than one. So let me go ahead and show you what we did is we made this little sign using paint stir sticks. Now my Home Depot sells these in the paint department a 10 pack for 98 cents and you're going to need two packs so it's two dollars worth of wood and all we did was I just took some of this inexpensive Walmart craft paint and I picked out six colors because you're going to need 12 sticks to make it's about a 12 by 12 sign and all I did was hot glue two braces on the back I didn't even paint the braces but the one I want to show you today, I'm going to change up just a little bit because I don't want to make the identical one. I'm going to make this one for my daughter. And I thought I would try staining the wood instead of painting. But I wanted to show you first how I did the craft day one by just painting the wood spring colors. Now, the stain I'm going to use, you do not have to use anything this expensive. This was come from Home Depot and we're in the process of refreshing our cabinets and this just happens to be something that it was on my counter. But all this is, is just kind of a stain all in one. You wipe it on, you wipe it off, but any stain will do. And this Mission Oak, it's Minwax Poly Shades Mission Oak if you're just curious of what I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 12 of my sticks, I'm going to stain them and I'll get back with you and show you how I was able to get the rabbit transferred onto the wood. Okay, it's been about an hour or so and I'm gonna catch you up where I'm at. Now I want to give you a couple tips. If you get the paint stirs at Home Depot, keep in mind that one side of those sticks have rulers and you'll see that. So when you get ready to put your little board together, make sure your rulers are on the back side. And also just like the paint, make sure that all the sides of your sticks are painted because once you put it together, uh, you will see if you've missed a spot. But to be perfectly honest with you, I think staining it would be a whole lot easier if you did it in a group setting because everybody's using the same stuff. When I did all those different colors, it was, you know, kind of a hassle making sure everybody had bowls and paint. But I love the look of this stained wood. I didn't even stain the braces. I just hot glued them on there, laid my sticks out, put hot glue on the braces, and just stuck it down and held perfectly. All right, so we are now ready to transfer the rabbit. Now, all I did was go to Google and type in rabbit silhouette. There's 10,000 pop up, all kinds of birds. You know, you don't even have to do a rabbit. You could do an owl, any kind of a pumpkin, whatever you want to do. And what I did is I just made it as big as I could on a piece of printer paper and cut it out just about a half an inch bigger because I want my rabbit to be just a little bit bigger and trace out my rabbit with a piece of chalk. That way, when I get done painting, uh, I can take a little wet cloth and the chalk lines will disappear if I don't cover them up with paint. Okay, here is my rabbit stencil. Cut it out, traced it with a chalk well enough where I can see the outline. Now one of my friends, she took, I gave everybody a few q-tips in their little bowl and she dipped the white paint in a q-tips and kind of did her outline first. You know, I'm not a painter whatsoever, so this was a great idea if you want to go ahead and get your rabbit outline done first, and then it's just a matter of filling it in with a white. Rabbit painted, took two or three coats. My painting is not perfect, my lines are not perfect, but that's the beauty of rustic decor is it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to take this wet paper towel and kind of go over some of the edges because some of that blurriness I'm seeing is just just the chalk lines so it will clean it up a lot but be careful because you know this acrylic paint is washable and so it will take some of your paint off so just be very careful when you're going around the edges just like this up here it's kind of fuzzy looking but using a wet paper towel it will really clean up that edge and get me a nice clean rabbit okay so now here's the fun part uh, time for embellishment now i'm going to need to poke two holes in the top of my sign now if you have a crocodile you know how powerful these are this cuts through these little paint stirs like butter so if you have one of these on the bigger hole, works great. 
But since this wood is so soft, if you have some kind of pick, you know, it wouldn't take much to hand drill a little hole through there. So use whatever you need, even if you had to hot glue your hanger on there. Now, as far as the bow around its neck, all I did was take uh, some scrap burlap, layered three pieces on top of each other, just the green plaid and some floral, just hot glued it. That's all it is to it. I'm going to make it into a bow and hot glue it on its neck. Now, as far as the bunny tail, here's what I had for my part. Party. I, I just cut out a piece of cardstock and glued up some little loops made out of twine and put a little button on there. That is what the original inspiration had. So that is a simple option. You could even uh, use a little flower you had. I mean, how cute is that to make a flower tail? Or even just if you had some yarn and make some kind of little pom-pom ball, it'll be super cute regardless of what you use. So I'm going to probably go ahead and just use this since I have one left over. So let me go ahead and get string tied on there, my bow and everything attached, and I'll hang it up and show you. Friends, here you go. It's on my back door but I'm gonna take this to Kentucky for my daughter. It turned out so cute, I can't stand it. I love the stained wood version of this one better than the painted. But one more little tip is that when you are placing your boards ready to glue, be sure you alternate the little thumb grooves so that all your little thumb grooves don't end up one-sided. So that was another tip I meant to be sure and tell you it looks uniform all the way down. Hope you enjoyed it. Super easy. Five dollars. Within an hour, you can make one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.